Hey guys, it's Liz and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I wanted to do a Asian beauty skincare haul. Recently, I've gotten really into Korean skincare and kind of just all of the Asian skincare beauty that's like really trending right now. I've been really interested in like the eight step and 10 step um, like skincare routines um, for a while, but not until recently have I actually started purchasing products to kind of try it out myself. Also, I'd like to apologize that the lighting is a little weird right now. I'm trying to use natural lighting, but also like half of my room is a disaster right now because I have three exams this week. And so my room's a little bit of a mess, but I wanted to get this video filmed so I could get it up for you guys. Just wanted to quickly say that I am definitely not a skincare expert. I'm definitely not like an Asian or Korean beauty skincare expert. Um, everything that I bought, I kind of just looked at reviews online and watched videos and yeah. Some of these things I've been trying out for about a week now and then some of the stuff just came in the mail today and I've only tried it out once. So I do have kind of an idea already of what I do and don't like, um, but I'll tell you guys that when I talk about each product. Quickly before I start talking about the products, I just wanted to say that I tend to have a pretty dry, sensitive skin. Um, just to kind of let you guys know so that if you have similar skin type you can kind of figure out if you would like or dislike some of these products that I'm talking about. So the first place that I ordered things from was Amazon and I just chose Amazon one because they have a ton of stuff and I have prime shipping so everything comes within two days and the second I had an Amazon gift card so I figured it was a really good place to start. I'll be sure to link everything down below so you guys can go into the description box and check out any product that I'm talking about in this video. So the Amazon stuff came came in about a week ago. So I have been trying it out for a little while now and I have an idea of what I do and I don't like. The first product I got is by Skin Food and it is this strawberry black sugar wash off mask. And so I got this to be my exfoliator. I was in desperate need of an exfoliator. I used to love Ocean Salt by Lush, but I ran out of that probably like two years ago. And since I ran out of that, I don't think I've purchased like a good exfoliator since. I was using some like oatmeal scrub by St. Ives for a while, but it really wasn't a very good exfoliator and I wasn't good about exfoliating regularly. So I was really happy to pick this up. Um, this stuff smells amazing, like, oh my gosh. This is what it looks like on the inside. I actually got, um, they, have, they had a double size of this on Amazon. So I guess the normal size of this is um, 100 grams because this is 200 grams but I just went ahead and went for the double side because it had so many really good reviews and after you have used this twice now and I really really like it basically what you do is you take a little bit you massage it into your face and you leave it on your face for 10 to 15 minutes and then you wash it off and I swear when you wash this off your skin is so soft and it smells so good I definitely have been enjoying using this and I definitely am glad that I have an exfoliator again because my skin has gotten so much smoother because of it the next thing I picked up is another product by skin food this is the Premium Avocado Rich Toner, and I guess 15% of this is pure um, avocado extract, which is really cool. So as I said before, I have really dry skin, and all of the reviews for this product said that it was amazing for dry skin. And something I'd like to point out, um, this is called a toner, but in Korea, toners are very different from how toners are like in the Western world, like in the United States. A lot of times with toners, you think of like astringents and things that are like drying out the skin. Whereas like in Asian beauty, toners are mainly used to like as the first step of moisturizing the skin. So like this toner is kind of on the thicker side and it's extremely moisturizing. This has definitely helped um, with my skin just retaining moisture and just it feeling like so much softer and more plump. So I really love this. So the next thing I grabbed from Amazon was an eye cream and this is the Mizon Collagen Power Firming Eye Cream. And I just got the little tube of it um, rather than the full like jar. This is the first eye cream that I have ever used. So I don't really have anything to compare it to, but I have been told that once you're in your 20s, especially your mid 20s, but basically the sooner the better to start using things like eye cream. Um, so I believe just with the collagen in this, this is really supposed to help with wrinkles and um, if you have puffiness underneath your eyes. I don't have too many issues um, 
regarding my under eyes so I mainly just got this as a preventative um, product I use this um, normally just once a day I'm kind of bad about remembering to put it on in the morning but I'm really good at remembering to put it on at night um, it's very nice and smooth and it absorbs into the skin really quickly I will say that since using this I feel like my under eye area has gotten a lot softer so I really like that so the last thing I got from Amazon is not entirely related to um, Korean skincare but it's close enough I ordered a thing of jojoba oil um, I've been wanting jojoba oil for a while and I finally got around to ordering it since I had that gift card. I mainly got this um, for my nails just to keep my nails healthy since I do my own gels. But you can also use this on your face and on like your skin and on your hair. I have been using this um, all over my body just as a moisturizer and it is really really nice. I will say that compared to other oils that I've used on my body like coconut oil, this absorbs so quickly and it really doesn't have any odor at all. So I really am glad I picked this up. And when I bought this, the company sent me two little um, essential oil blends, which I thought was really cool. So the first thing they sent me is their signature chi. And I will say that this kind of pretty much just smells like eucalyptus. It's a blend of other things, but the eucalyptus is pretty, pretty prominent in this blend. The other one they sent is called their signature zen. I like this one a little bit more than the other one, but this is kind of a blend of different citruses and some rosemary, so I really like using this one um, during the day. So that's it for everything that I got off of Amazon. The next store that I purchased from is an online store called Yes Style. Um, it's actually, I believe it's based out of, I think, Hong Kong. They sell lots of different, like, fashionable Asian clothing, shoes, but I just went straight to the beauty section because I had heard really good things about ordering products from them online. I will say that the shipping was a little bit on the long side, especially compared to Amazon Prime's two-day shipping, but YesStyle definitely had a lot better prices and they had a lot better variety of products compared to Amazon. One of the tricks with YesStyle is to make sure that whatever you're ordering is already in stock. Um, when you go online and you're looking at things, there's a filter you can choose to filter out everything that isn't in stock. So that way when you're ordering stuff in stock, it comes a lot faster than the stuff that you have to wait for it to be in stock before it can ship to you. I just did the standard shipping, which I believe was free on orders, I think over $30. And it took about a week and a half to get here, so not too bad. So the first thing I picked up from Yes Style is this Innisfree Green Tea Cleansing Foam. I used this for the first time this morning because my package from Yes Style just came in the mail this morning. And I was kind of surprised. I felt a lot of different emotions when I was using this. I will say that this foamed up really nicely. It was a very nice thick foam cleanser, which I really liked. But when I rinsed it off, it felt like it was almost leaving a residue on my skin because, I don't know, you know how normally when you wash your face and you rinse it off, your skin feels very smooth and like your hands go over it very easily, if that makes sense? Anyway, when I was rinsing this off, I felt like my hands were almost kind of like dragging across my face, like it wasn't very smooth. But once I, you know, rinsed it off and then I towel dried, my skin actually felt so smooth and it actually felt moisturized. In the end, I ended up really liking using this. Um, I think this is especially great if you do have dry skin because it doesn't um, dry out your skin. I have read and seen people talk about how Western cleansers kind of do tend to dry out the skin and so people have gotten accustomed to that feeling of really like squeaky clean skin and so I think that's just something I kind of have to adjust to that using some of these Korean and Asian um, facial cleansers my skin is not going to feel the same as it does when I use the cleansers that are basically too harsh for my skin. Next thing from YesStyle is this Snail Bee High Content Steam Cream by the brand Benton. If you've done any research into Asian beauty, um, Korean beauty, heck, even like with Western beauty, snails are like all the rage. <laughs> And so I really wanted to get at least one product that had some snail in it so I could kind of see for myself how it would benefit um, my skin. I have, like I said, really dry, sensitive, red skin. So I was really excited to see how using a daily cream with snail would improve my skin. I used this this morning after I washed my face and I liked it. It seemed like a really nice, light, good, everyday cream. I'm excited to continue using this. I think this is one of those products that you have to use it for a while before you start to see any benefits. So excited to use this guy more. The next thing I got from YesStyle is another snail product. I got this package of 10 Tony Molly um, 
snail sheet masks. I couldn't resist getting more snail products. Also, it was only like, I think, $14 or $15 for 10 sheet masks, which in my opinion is a pretty good deal, especially for ones that have snail in them. I'm really excited to use these. I don't know, I'm really excited about all the snail products. <laughs> sheet masks are like an essential part of Asian um, skincare routines, and so I've been trying to use them more often. Like I've been trying to use them at least twice a week, although if I'm being completely honest, I feel like most weeks I only get to use them once a week, but I bought more, so hopefully I'll be better about it starting this week. Last but not least, I have the little free sample that YesStyle sent me. This is a collagen eye patch by Etude House. I've heard really good things about the brand Etude House. I think especially their makeup is really popular. Um, I've never tried collagen eye patches, but I'm excited to try these out. I think I'm gonna save them for like some big event or I'm looking especially tired one day. <laughs> I think these would be really good. So that is all of the Korean and Asian skincare products that I've gotten recently. Let me know if you want more videos like this or let me know if you want a skincare routine because I could definitely do that. Also let me know if you want a further in-depth review or any update videos on any of the products that I talked about. Well that's everything I have for you guys today. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!